Hey guys, it's Millie. Today I'm going to be showing you my top running essentials, so like the things that I feel more comfortable when I have them while running, and the things that just make running easier, and like the things that I really prioritize to bring to meets, to the gym, and just to use while running. So if you want to see my running essentials, just keep on watching. So the first thing is a pair of running shoes that fits good to your feet. Personally, I really like the brand Nike for running shoes. Mine are a little dirty because I use them every single day. I need to wash them again. But I find that Nikes work really well for my feet because I have high arches. My mom feels the same way. I've never found another brand that supports high arches like Nikes do. But if you don't have high arches, then brands like Adidas or New Balance can work really good for you too. I just think that Nikes are really, really good and supportive for high arches. So they work really well for me. Number two, keeping on track with shoes, would be a good pair of spikes. If you compete with running, you need like a pair of spikes that you find comfortable. These are mine, they're a little worn in, um, but they work really well. You just replace the spikes on the bottom whenever they start to wear out, but other than that, they hold up for a very long time, and these are actually New Balance, and I like them a lot. Another thing that I suggest, especially for less competitive runners, if you run for fun and like do fun runs and everything, and like kind of run in your neighborhood, wireless headphones, like Bluetooth wireless headphones work amazing. I haven't. I haven't had these long, but they're already like my favorite thing ever for running. Uh, when I run with my team and everything, obviously I don't use these. When I run in a competition, obviously I don't use these. But when running alone or running with my mom or something, and like when I go to the gym, these are amazing. The next item is a bag. I have two different bags to show you. First is like a little gym bag, which I would carry to like the gym to put my locker and I would just hold like my water, my Gatorade or whatever in it. And then I just have a bag and I don't have to carry things with my hands and it's nice and small. And I also take this to practice. And then for meets and competitions and everything, I like to have my big old like gym bag, track bag. We call them our track bags, but they're like kind of like a gym bag, I guess you would call it. Anyways, I like to have these at meets because you can put your water, you can put all your different kinds of shoes in there. You can put your jacket or your, your overclothes like um, your tracksuit and everything in there, um, all that kind of stuff and it's big enough to do that and you just like kind of leave it at your tent area. But I don't recommend these for gyms, just like if you are a competitive runner, then you can bring this for sure. But if you just go run like 5k and stuff, then you definitely don't need a bag this big. This is mainly for like meat, so you're going to be at all day. I also strongly recommend keeping like a towel or something in here. I just have this Astro's towel. Um, it says never settle on it. I got it one of the ALDS games. Um, really cute but like if you're super sweaty this is just great to have if you sweat your sweat throw it in the wash and then put it back in your bag when it's clean also i like to keep um hairspray in my bag because if you ever have like wispies or things that don't stick um or like i have short hair so when i put my hair up with a high ponytail because i like to keep it high i like to pin some hair up and then spray it so that way it stays in place and i can have my hair high all of my shoulders so i recommend hairspray in your bag as well i recommend having a good water bottle usually i actually just use like a liter water bottle this one is just one that i got on vacation actually um so it's like a smart water one works too and then i just refill it and refill it until i just like okay i'm gonna get a new one but it just works to have like a liter of water and then you like when you drink the whole thing you're like okay i've drank half my water for the day and that really helps me at meets to keep track of how much water i drink at the meet and then i also like to carry like a little bag that has like my um, safety pins or my hair pins or like my hair ties and even scrunchies I like to put my hair tie and then put a scrunchie in it so I have like a wide variety of scrunchies in here um, so that's really fun to like kind of put a scrunchie in here and make it a little more cute and then two other things I always keep in my bag for meats are a, a spike tightener thing to make sure like if my spikes start to fall or I need to change it I just have a little thing to switch them out or tighten it and it also hand sanitizer because they only have porta potties unfortunately and it's always just good to have like a little extra um, bit of hand sanitizer because they run out. The next running essential is if you have like contacts, um, then you can bring a little miniature solution bottle. They're great. They're just so small in like your gym bag or your meat bag or whatever. And um, if your eyes start to get dry, if you've been running all day, these are just great because if you have like an irritation somewhere, it's really hard to concentrate on running. So I strongly recommend this if you have contacts. I also strongly recommend spray on deodorant. I love spray on deodorant. I don't like like the little stick thing. Um, I'll either use like a bar of deodorant or a spray on deodorant, but it's super easy. Like in a little rush to the gym, you just kind of spray it all and go, or you just leave it in your gym bag and you spray it on real quick. Um, so strongly recommend this. And then the next two things have to do with like energy. One is a Gatorade. This one has a dent in it. Um, are you doing sis? Anyways, Gatorade. I personally really like Glacier Freeze and like the, the blue ones. I love the blue ones. And then also like some kind of running bar, nutrition bar. This one's just a kind bar. Um, it's peanut butter and dark chocolate. I've never actually had this one, but any kind of bar will do. It just gives you a little bit of energy um, when you're running, after you're running, for your breakfast, kind of things like that. So then obviously you have like different kinds of clothes and there's three pieces of clothes that like are super essentials for me because like I can wear any jacket if I get cold, I can wear any shirt anytime I want. But for me, there's only two kinds of bonds that I find comfortable and that would be running shorts or 
leggings. Just simple leggings, high-waisted leggings, any kind of leggings, really. Those two are just like the bottoms I find most comfortable. I also like to put Spanx underneath my shorts, um, sometimes if I want a little bit of extra, like, security, because running shorts are very floppy. Um, but usually I just wear the shorts. So these are my two running essentials for bottoms. And then, of course, you can wear any shirt while running. Sometimes cotton's fine if it's colder. Um, you can wear like a running material shirt. Just kind of any shirts work for me. I just wear whatever. But I do recommend having some kind of like warming shirt. And then another essential is a watch. I don't have mine on me. I don't know where it is right now. Um, but just a watch to time yourself. Um, it's really handy to just be able to like click and then go and then afterwards you're like, okay, that's what that's what I ran. Also like a run workout tracker app. I'll link mine in the description that I really, really like. It tells you your average pace and your pace for each mile. And then it also has like the course that you ran. If you turn on your location, you have to turn on your location. It'll show you the course you ran and then it will like color code like how you did and like green is like okay this is like about your pace here yellow is like okay this is like slower and if you get red it's like your slowest so like kind of show you like how you do during the miles and everything so I find that very useful so i'll have that link in the description box below if you're interested if i can i don't know if i can but if i can i will if i don't, can't i'll put a little note there saying i have no idea how <laughs> So that is all my running essentials for you guys. If you enjoyed it, you can give a big thumbs up. Comment down below your running essentials if you run. Um, and like what you kind of bring to meets, what you like to bring in the gym, what you like to do at home, um, whatever. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications to be notified of when I post. I'll see you guys next one. Bye.